has Meghan Markle abandoned Prince Harry at the UK's Invictus Games anniversary event to avoid getting booed? Whoo, fragile ego indeed. Hey up everyone, it's me, Steph the Alter Nerd, your nerdy alternative, and welcome to another dose of the Daily Nerd, where I break down the royal news and gossip of the day that's pretty much got me eye and oh my goodness, yeah. Let's jump into this madness, shall we? So you may remember um, when they were last at St. Paul's Cathedral, because this is where the Invictus Games anniversary is being held, that uh, this happened, guys. You hear that in the background? Booze! Now, quite rightly, as far as I'm concerned, yes, they were booed. Uh, Dan Wu and saying Prince Harry is brave. Returning to St. Paul's Cathedral in London on May the 8th for the Invictus Games anniversary... Will he be booed again or will he avoid that with Megzi staying in Montecito? Now, this is the thing. That uh, video that I just showed you, uh, this was during uh, the late Queen's Jubilee celebrations a few years ago. And so whilst the pair were walking down the nave at the cathedral, Sky News commentator Rhiannon Mills uh, briefly addressed the relationship between the Sussexes and the rest of the firm by speaking of, quote, an enormous snub. She said consistently they have said how they love and respect the Queen. But however, the fact it was suggested they did not tell her about their plans to step away from royal life, I think was seen as an enormous snub to a woman that so many of us hold in such high regard. Now, Hazza was, you could tell, affected by the booze, affected by the frosty reception when he was last at St. Paul's Cathedral because dude had a look on his face that was a look of thunder. He was not happy whatsoever. And so now we've got a situation whereby, yeah, Megzi is going to snub the UK yet again. She's not going to join Prince Hazza for the Invictus Games service for next month. She is abandoning Hazza for fear that she's going to get booed again. Oh, come on. If she's not coming to the UK because she's scared of getting booed, Oh, what a fragile ego she's got. She needs thicker skin than that. She really, really does. And so, yes, it's been announced that, yes, finally, after to and froing, whether he's going or coming or whatever, right? Yes, he is going to be at St. Paul's Cathedral next on May the 8th, which is just over a week's time, guys, uh, where he's going to help mark the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games. It'll be the first time Hazard has returned to the UK uh, since his brief visit in February uh, that included an approximate 30-minute meeting with King Charles shortly after the announcement was made that he was diagnosed with cancer. But, yeah, Megzi ain't going to be at St. Paul's Cathedral in just over a week's time. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, apparently, she's going to fly straight from America to Nigeria. Uh, to meet has her there on an official visit immediately afterwards. Now, there's this whole palaver about it being called an official visit from Hazza and Megzi to go to Nigeria. There's nothing official about it. They ain't representing the royal family. No way, no how. So why are they now calling it an official visit? They're trying to make it out to be a royal tar when it ain't a royal tar as far as I'm concerned. It's a fake royal tar. So enough mainstream media about calling Hazza and Megzi's Nigerian visit an official visit because there's nothing official about it, right? They are just, as far as we're concerned, private citizens, globe trotting to Nigeria to do something and then piss off back. Do you know what I mean? Um, but they uh, did say that, yes, Megzi would be at his side for a, quote, Invictus-inspired visit to Africa immediately after 
the Duke of Duchess, and if you watched my video earlier on, you'll know what I mean by that, leaves the UK. Now, this is extremely telling of Megzi, and this is why I say, you know, Pinny Conspiracy Theory, whatever, Megzi has abandoned Hazza uh, at the UK Invictus Games anniversary to avoid getting booed, because whenever there is an opportunity, right, where there's cameras, where there's press, where there's attention on the Invictus Games, and Hazza's there, right by his side, or just a little bit in front of him, right, is Megzi. All there, dressed up, for the cameras, smiling, whatever, right? Here is the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games. And she ain't attending. When there's going to be press, there's going to be cameras, there's going to be videos, and she's not going to be there? That, to me, is really, really out of character for Megzi, which is why I'm saying opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever. Guys, I really, really do believe that Megzi is abandoning Hazza at the UK 10th anniversary Invictus Games being held at St. Paul's Cathedral because, uh, yeah, she don't want to get booed again because the last time she was there, oh, she got booed. Quite rightly so, as far as I'm concerned. She doesn't want to repeat. Do you see where I'm coming from, guys? Now, Richard Eden um, says it, says, look, Megzi would, it seems, rather fly directly to Nigeria on her own than return to London with Hazza first for the Invictus Games service at St. Paul's. Now, this isn't the first time it's been reported in the media that Megzi wants to avoid the UK because she's afraid of getting booed. Remember this one around about this time last year? There was this whole palaver, and I was reporting on it, whether Megzi was going to go or not. Uh, apparently, she had conditions that had to be met in order for her to go to the King's coronation, blah, blah, blah. But in the end, of course, she didn't go. Why? Here, is, here it is yet again. She doesn't want to go to the UK out of fear of being booed. Uh, speaking to Sky News Australia, uh, you had Megan Kelly suggesting that the reason Megzi won't be going to um, the coronation at the time is that she couldn't stomach the thought of being booed. Adding, she couldn't stand the thought of returning to England and having the cameras go on her and having everyone do what I will be doing at home, which is boo. But guess what? Whether she went or she didn't go, it didn't matter either way. As Megan Kelly quite rightly put out at the time, I've got news for her. We're booing loudly from our couches, whether she can hear us or not. So like I said, this isn't the first time it's been reported that she's avoiding the UK because she's afraid of getting booed, right? This happened last year as well, guys. So this is why I say, for this time at St. Paul's Cathedral, Next month, where Hazard's going to be, Megzi doesn't want to repeat of last time. So opinion conspiracy theory, whatever. Yeah, she's abandoning Prince Hazard at the UK Invictus Games anniversary next month because she doesn't want to get booed. Oh, fragile ego indeed. With that being said, if you appreciated this video and you want more, and believe me, of course there's going to be more, then make sure you subscribe to join our Alt and Nerd tribe. I'll be honest with you, help us get to a million so we can also get that gold play button right there and hopefully cause a Meghan Markle meltdown on Instagram. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever's. Also as well, if you've got some very strong opinions about Megzi not coming to the UK, and I bet you do, then make sure you send me a super thanks. It's just below this video right here we can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me and until the next time you guys laters